Beloved Masters, as the Supreme Creator increases the flow of the elixir of life throughout the Omniverse, it is affecting all creation. You cannot hide from it. You cannot deny it. Your lifeline to your source is growing stronger and more compelling all the time. The magnetization factor is growing stronger, and you are magnetizing to yourself in stronger and stronger measures that which you have claimed as your reality. If you believe that you must live in poverty and chaos, those thought forms will be reinforced and magnified in your life. If you have accepted the truth that you are entitled to a life of beauty, joy and prosperity, that reality will unfold before you, if you follow through, and take the proper steps as outlined in our many past messages. Many of you are in a phase of transition whereby you are feeling disconnected and alone as you strive to adjust to the next level of cosmic vibrational patterns. Humanity is gradually emerging from the restrictive illusion of the lower astral planes as the expansive, accelerated frequencies of the higher fourth dimension permeate the earth and all its inhabitants at one level or another. Know that your column of God light is widening and becoming stronger, so that more and more divine elixir of life can pour down into and through you, as it saturates your body and radiates down into the soul essence of the earth. This rarefied energy is critical for your host planet as this great being struggles to return to balance and harmony within, as well as to lessen the intensity of the cataclysms on its surface. The higher frequency vibrational patterns are especially important in the process of purifying and returning the auric field, which surrounds your planet, to its original divine blueprint of perfection. As you purify your four lower bodily systems so that you may consistently increase the amount of adamantin particles of light that you can magnetize to you and radiate from you, it is a duty and a divine gift to be able to assist your beloved planet to evolve as well. The return to harmony and balance begins as a divine discontent within each of you. Your higher self begins to increase the amount and raise the frequencies of creator light you are receiving. If you heed the call, unity consciousness can begin within you, here and now, in this moment. First, it is vitally important that you acknowledge and bring forth into your consciousness all of those unbalanced fragments that you have created during your many lifetime experiences those things that control you, those things that have created an emotional and mental prison around you in your auric field. Then, you must become aware of these fragments and how they affect your reality. Thereafter, through your conscious intention, you must create a burning desire to change and to fill those fragments with transformative love or light energy. We are always ready and willing to assist you in your positive endeavors, but you must ask and give us permission so that we can reinforce your resolve, so that we may give you the necessary knowledge, along with swiftest and best way to accomplish your transformation with ease and grace. In your mind's eye, however you perceive, envision that you are viewing the earth from a great light ship, and together we, the angelic forces and the multitude of universal light beings, who represent our Father or Mother God, are bringing forth the energetic vibrational patterns of the wondrous divine schematic in preparation for humanity's inhabitation of the earth. During the intricate, complex stages of preparation, great sentient crystals were implanted deep within the earth in strategic places around the planet. A portion of each huge crystal rose from the earth's surface as a sentinel which radiated energy and information out into the cosmos as well as functioning as a receiver of divine light, wisdom and power from our Father or Mother God. Over the many eons of time, as earth changes took place whereby mountain ranges rose into the skies, land masses sank beneath the waters, and continents shifted and changed shape, most of those great crystals were shattered and buried deep within the earth and the waters. However, many remained intact deep within the waters, in great caverns, and many more lie close to the surface of the land hidden only by a thin covering of earth or vegetation waiting for you to discover them and bring forth their powerful gifts and ancient memories. They are the earth seed atom record keepers, and you hold the key which will give you access to the wisdom and the power of manifestation that lie dormant within them. If you could truly see the grid system, the web of life or the connection of all things, you would have a better understanding of the concept of oneness. It is not just the earth that has an intricate grid system. You have streams of light that radiate forth from you and to you, one to another, back and forth amongst every person on earth. Some are stronger, some are weaker, but you are still intrinsically connected with everyone and everything on your planet, 
and even within this sub-universal expression. This may be mind-boggling and hard for you to imagine, but it is true. When we say you are all one, what does this really mean and how does this happen? It is because there are those streams of light that penetrate and filter through everyone, around and through all of the earth. Yes, most of these streams of light are very weak, but more and more of these streams of light are growing stronger, and are setting up a vibration of recognition. There is an echo from within that says, Yes, I remember you. Yes, I know who you are, and I know we have been together before. I don't know where, but I feel and recognize your vibrations and your energy signature. You touch my soul and make my heart strings sing. Your loving essence assures me that I am no longer alone. Welcome into my heart. I ask you to share my journey and to allow me to be a part of your journey as well. Each one of you bears within the essence of your soul, your DNA and your personal God self such wondrous gifts, such magical energy, and a vast memory bank of universal information and history. All of these stories that are now being told and the ancient memories that are being accessed, don't you realize that you were there? Perhaps it was not always specifically you in physical form, but at times it was a close member of your soul family. You do not have to personally experience everything that has happened during this great journey throughout the universe and on earth to be a part of it or to have it in your memory bank, for you have a lifeline, a soul memory connection with your immediate soul family, which creates a link whereby they will gain the data and wisdom from your experiences, and their experiences are seeded into your memory storehouse as well. In the past, you have tried many times to stifle or gain power over your addictions, your negative habits and thought patterns. You have resisted them, hated them, and constantly thought about them, thereby reinforcing their control over your emotions, your mind, and your quality of life. Remember, we have said many times, for it is a universal truth, wherever and whatever you focus your attention on, you give energy to and reinforce, whether positive or negative. You must free the fragments you have created by loving them and acknowledging that they have served you well. The best and most efficient way to achieve this is to send forth an impassioned thought that it is time for them to be reunited with you, and to once more be a part of you within your solar power center of the heart to be filled with light, and to become an empowered facet of your God consciousness. Know that everything, at some level, is seeking the light seeking harmony seeking to return to that harmonious balance that it enjoyed in the beginning. Each phase of new awareness or expanded consciousness has its special miracles and benefits which are to be savored and enjoyed. Each time you release some old self-limiting, painful thought form, habit, or discordant energies within, you are transformed, you remove a small, or large, part of your disguise, which allows you to integrate another facet of your wondrous God Self. In doing so, you are gradually creating a new empowered you. A new reality opens to you whereby you have access to many new concepts, as well as new talents, and your sensitivity to the exquisite nuances of spirit miraculously unfolds around you. You are learning so much, so quickly. It is often so mind-expanding that you do not know what to believe, and you think you cannot take in or integrate any more new information, but we tell you this is only the beginning. You are becoming spiritual or human adults whereas in the past you have been functioning as human children in a restrictive third or fourth dimensional reality, feeling as though you were disconnected from God, and controlled by the whims of fate and nature. As self-masters and spiritual adults, you are learning that you are citizens of the universe, you are star seeds, light warriors and the vanguard of the new age. You have soared throughout this universe and other universes as well. You have heard that for a very long time, there was a quarantine around the Earth, this solar system and even your galaxy, this quarantine has now been dissolved so that you may receive galactic, universal and omniversal information. We now tell you that there was also a filter placed around this universe. This universe, in which we all are playing an integral part, is one of the most recent universes to be created from the essence of the Supreme Creator, and therefore it is a universe that is situated at the farthest edge of creation. We too have been limited in our knowledge of the workings of the Omniverse, as well as the amount of higher frequency vibrational energy that we have had access to. You see, the first universes that were created were the most powerful and the closest to perfection, 
for they surrounded the great central sun of the Supreme Creator and contained the pure essence of creation. As more and more universes, galaxies, star systems were created, ever expanding and pushing creation further and further out into the great void, and farther away from the Supreme Creator, each refraction into density meant each new creation had less of the perfection of the all that island. You must realize that we are all much stepped down energetic fragments, but still an integral facet of the magnificence of the Supreme Creator. And if we were sent forth with the command to create in the Creator's name, for it was the Creator's desire to experience more of itself, why would the Creator tell us what we were to create? We were given a blessed divine gift as co-creators, and so were each of you. You are a co-creator God in your own right, and that is not sacrilegious, it is a universal truth. You must understand that is why you are here on earth that is who you are. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Remember, you are also responsible for your own creations through the laws of cause and effect. Please understand that this universe was created with dramatically stepped down and diluted primal life force substance. Some are calling this universe a fallen universe, but we do not choose to call it that. This is a universe which was created specifically so that we could experience duality and polarity. The spectrum of light and shadow was designed with the still point of creator light at its center, and the pendulum of duality was to swing only so far into the positive or negative, masculine or feminine, the light or shadow, the yin or yang energy. You must understand that some of the co-creator gods created less than perfection as they too learned to use their creator-given rights. Over the eons of time the pendulum has swung further and further into the shadow land of duality, but it has always been balanced with the same amount of divine light substance. The duality or polarity of the earth is now in the process of returning to center, into its proper, designed spectrum of light or shadow. There have always been magnificent emissaries from the higher realms scattered throughout this universe, and particularly in this sub-universe, your galaxy and on the earth for this is where the culmination of this divine experiment in creation is being played out in its final stages. As we have told you before, the Supreme Creator is now taking an active role in the creative process of all the Omniverse. The pure, rarefied energy from its heart core is now streaming forth and affecting every facet of itself from the greatest to the most minuscule. Creation does not contract, it is ever expanding, and you have an integral part to play in that expansion. You are at a grand crossroads, beloved ones. As you move through the process of clearing and cleansing the multiple facets of yourself, you are leaving behind the energies that created all the pain, suffering and distress. Step back for a moment, and view these past months as an observer are you beginning to get the picture of what the grand plan and ascension are all about? Being aware and in control are important facets of mastery. If you have diligently worked with the lessons we have given you, you should be well on your way to reclaiming the many gifts you brought to Earth so many eons ago. Each of you is the center of your own universe. You, as a co-creator, send out energy and intent, which create thought patterns of a certain frequency. These higher frequency vibrations go forth from you as rays of energy in an infinity sign, creating waveforms, which are a reflection of your conscious thoughts, intentions and actions. As you learn to stay heart-centered and soul-focused, thereby always radiating unconditional love and balanced or harmonious vibrational patterns, your world and reality are gradually changing for the better, for you are functioning as an empowered master of co-creation a true divine emissary of our Father or Mother God and the Supreme Creator. During these times of uncertainty and great change, remember, my beloved warriors of light, you have nothing to fear, and there is so very much to be gained. Feel the warmth of our sacred breath as it brushes your cheek, sense the aura of love in which we surround you. We are near, reach out and touch us. We will respond. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Michael.